thought I would show the two different oil pumps for my Yamaha golf cart. Uh, the one on the left is the original oil pump. Some people call it an oil injection pump. It's a two-stroke motor so it uses a separate reservoir, tank reservoir, to hold the two-stroke oil and then it's metered by the pump here. This Again, this is the original one that I pulled off. It was leaking right here. This is the metering adjustment or flow adjustment so you can control the amount or adjust. There's, there's not a great range of adjustment but you can you can adjust it by pulling this up and turning it back and forth to control the flow of uh, oil. Again it's a relative adjustment. It's not a significant change. The drive uh, worm gear fits in here. It's, it's driven from the motor of course. The uh, pump itself is driven by the worm gear and then on this side right here there is a uh, connection to the, believe it or not, the exhaust system which uh, the exhaust impulses based on the RPM of the motor um, controls the actual metering itself, in other words, it's a flow. So the pump is driven by the worm gear in here. That's actually what drives the pump and makes it pump. The metering is controlled by the impulse line that comes into here from the muffler system, exhaust system. So this is the original. It was still pumping. Uh, I'm not replacing it because it, it failed from the perspective of it wasn't pumping oil, it was but it was uh, it'd been leaking for some time and in fact was getting worse and uh, was weeping oil all, all down into the, into the lower part of the golf cart into the belly pan two stroke oil was, was all over the place it's been, it's been getting worse over the last couple of years so I'm not replacing it because it failed to pump I'm, fail I'm replacing it because it was leaking so bad and eventually it would probably have failed so this is the original. Here's the replacement. You can still buy these brand new from Yamaha. This is a new part. In fact, here's the box it came in. They're, they're a little pricey. This pump was about $100. Brand new. Still readily available. This is unique. At least in my experience it's unique because I believe this is a Yamaha designed and made oil pump. Uh, my experience over the last 40 years has been with Makuni brand oil pumps that most of the motorcycle manufacturers, including Yamaha, uh, use. I think this is a unique pump for probably their golf carts. And uh, I'm pretty confident this is not a Makuni brand. I think it's a uh, Yamaha brand. So I've never seen one of these before, frankly. But it's uh, it'll, it'll match up okay. It's not an exact replacement from the perspective that every dimension is exactly the same. The critical components, which is where it mounts up to the motor matches. Uh, it, I've already done a dry fit on the engine and it will fit fine. Uh, this is a metering line that goes up to the carburetor where the oil is actually pumped through. This is obviously the original. I've got to take this fitting off and put it on here and that's what fits into the orifice on a carburetor. You can see, I flip it over, The this is where the impulse line comes in from the exhaust system that actually controls the flow of oil itself. So this is a new replacement pump. Impeller gear of course will fit in here and this is where the flange where it mounts up to the motor. So dimensionally it's very close. There's a couple of things that are a little different about it but again I, I'm not concerned that it won't work. I think it'll work just fine. But uh, that's the two different pumps. Again the original on the left, the replacement on the right. And over the next couple of days, I'll uh, put it back together and I'll update this video as I go, uh, showing the installation. I thought I'd show where the uh, oil pump on the Yamaha golf cart mounts to the engine. You can see right here, this is the worm gear that actually drives the pump. Here's the attaching um, screws. The new pump comes with new, new hardware and there's a gasket that goes here. Uh, and this this 
does pull out. I'm not going to remove it. There's really no need to. But the new pump then will fit over the top like this, driven by this worm gear. Here's the impulse line I talked about earlier that comes from the exhaust system that actually controls the metering of the pump itself. Uh, so the faster the engine runs, the greater the pressure on the exhaust system, which is transferred through this impulse line to the pump that controls the metering. So obviously the faster the engine runs, the higher the pressure, uh, the more the pump will pump. Over here you can see the centrifugal clutch on this side this is this pulley here is for the starter belt to spin its electric start the belt from the starter motor that will spin the motor to start it um, so that's the gist of it for the mounting of the oil pump on the Yamaha golf cart